Hello everyone and welcome back to my comparison series. I figured I would start off strong by introducing you all to the red screen of Gloom and Doom, as this was the screen that deterred most of my episode 5 progress. As you've witnessed thus far, it isn't exactly a trivial case of accessing episode 5, and it certainly required some tinkering. To get around this, I initially tried using some good old cheat codes that were present in the final release of Sly 3, but none of them were successful. I then tried using the usually trusty debug menu that is within this prototype build. I tried to warp to certain locations that are present within the episode, or to locations just before the episode, and while this did have a varying degree of success, I still wasn't able to get access to the main area of Bloodbath Bay without the red square getting in my way. Even warping to the main area during a job and abandoning the job did nothing to resolve the issue. Just as an aside, I did encounter a weird music glitch when I did abandon the job that I had warped to. In order to maintain the consistency of the comparison series, I had to ensure that I would be able to start at the beginning of the episode as if I were playing the final release of the game. After some more tinkering, I figured that it was finally time to cave in and get the power-ups that I had doggedly avoided up until this point. I used the debug menu to unlock all of the power-ups for all three characters, and I messed around a bit with some of the locations and finally, at long last, successfully launched into the start of Episode 5's main area. Unlocking the power-ups also ensured that the red screen wouldn't appear even if Episode 5 was selected from the Episode menu. This meant that the the debug menu would no longer be necessary to access episode 5. Some minor things to note, Mega Jump is indeed available in Thiefnet for free too, what a steal. In this instance of getting power-ups from Thiefnet however, I encountered a white screen that blocked my view of the game once I exited the safe house. This white screen was present unless I was in a cutscene or if I was viewing the Binocucum. However, after exiting and re-entering the episode, the issue seemed to fix itself. With all that said, that concludes the half hour escapade I had with trying to access episode 5 in a manner that was playable from start to finish. By the time you're watching this, the rest of the comparison series should be uploaded and be nearly ready for viewing. I will have a video on the debug menu very shortly, so if you're not subscribed already, be sure you are for that upcoming video. As always, if you guys like this video, feel free to like it. Thanks for watching.